Hello you guys and welcome back to my walkthrough for Mass Effect 3. We are continuing on with the Citadel DLC and now we have to talk with everybody in the apartment. So let's go ahead and start in this room. We've got uh, quite a few people in here. Okay, later when this is over and everything is settled, we are going to talk about this bait thing. <laughs> There's nothing to say, Joker. Nothing to say. Let me uh, turn off my alerts real quick. Okay. The Normandy's nice, but for unwinding after a mission, you can't get better than this. Observation lounge needs a hot tub. Well, there's a hot tub upstairs. You know what I mean. Back during my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place. And watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside. But I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner. And then, you broke their floor. <laughs> Do they even have food you can eat there? Not the point, Shepard. <laughs> Come on, I had nothing to do with that. I did not break the floor. The floor was broken on me. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to fish. Jeez. Um. Hello, Shepard. Shepard's never going to live that down. The nicest sushi place on the Citadel. Nothing beats having a Krogan bodyguard, huh? I had a buddy like that once. Uh, no, not so much a buddy, really. More of a prisoner who helped us. <laughs> it's a long story, man. Anyway, Brooke, she's kind of cute. Think she's on the market? Who knows, James? So, what was it, Shepard? Five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in. Unless the bad guys look in the window. How's it going? Oh, I love that. Oh, Rex is here. Bet you never saw a shuttle get taken down like that before. <laughs> I still got it. Yeah, you do. Okay, I'm guessing that nobody's gonna be in here. But you know what? While we're here, let's go ahead. Holy airplane. <laughs> let's use the weapon bench. Okay. What do we got here? We're just gonna keep our... M11 suppressor. I don't know. I didn't really care for that. Although it is suppressed. Headshot damage. Hmm, increased power damage. Let's try it. We'll go ahead and give it a try. Uh, let's see here. It's actually been quite a while since we have done anything with this. Let's go ahead and reduce the weight. Hmm. There, that looks better. Our 
armor. Should be the same as what we... Oh no, it looks like it reset our armor. Is it loading that ugly dress? I don't even think it knows what it's doing. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Collector armor. I think it reset everything. So let me go ahead and go through you guys. I'm just going to cut this part out. Going through... Uh, picking my armor again, unless it's all done loading itself. Okay. No, it does look like it saved. Did it? Yep, okay, yep, it is our armor. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. There's the dress. I know. Shepard doesn't walk really pretty like when she wears a dress. So we'll just keep this as our appearance. There. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. Oh my gosh. Shepard is never going to live that down. I'm surprised James isn't in here boxing. We'll talk to Liara. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. And it, whoa, her head was backwards. <laughs> we'll talk to her in a second, see if there's anyone in here. I'm glad you made it out of that ambush, okay? None of us saw that coming. But lesson learned. Never have dinner with Joker. It won't end well. <laughs> Thanks, Cortez. He's the only one that didn't blame me. These are private terminal, nothing. Okay. Anything in our catalog? What? You can customize this stuff? Oh my goodness. This is a very detailed DLC. I'm gonna have to write a report about getting shot. I hear those are really complicated. It's faster if you make a template. I think maybe you get shot too much. <laughs> I think you get shot too much. I am compiling data on the gun for Dr. Tassoni. She should have the results momentarily. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be late to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Con out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, sir. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat Six. As most of you know, Cat Six is an alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. 
That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No, but the truth is boring. Whoever that voice was, Khan's nervous enough to cut them loose. We can squeeze Khan until a contact drops out. Easier said than done. He has a panic room inside the casino, a good place to hole up. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear, or worse. If his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team, no gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Still, we're talking about a casino. There's gotta be alarms in that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast veran leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <sighs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? That's the plan, Brooks. Get whatever you need and be ready. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. <laughs> Black tie required. <laughs> oh, so that means Shepard's going to be wearing a dress. We're going to love it. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end this episode here. And in the next episode, I think that we're going to be uh, going to this Black Tie event at the casino. I want to thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Stay tuned.